Last night, I spent hours on my stream looking for easter eggs in the firing range and we didn't get any further to be honest but we did find out that Gibby's dome shield can light up areas really really well and that turned out to be very useful because in dark areas the muzzle flash and muzzle smoke on weapons is ridiculous everybody's been asking the developers to tone it down a lot and hopefully it will come but for now there's no way to fix it unless you have a golden barrel so if you have weapons like the r99 especially then the muzzle flash and the muzzle smoke can be absolutely ridiculous to deal with especially if you're in tunnels really dark areas or sometimes just even indoors so here's a solution put down your gibby dome shield and the muzzle flash is gone it is just it's gone why? Because the dome shield provides this illumination which lights up the area which means there's no darkness around which means muzzle flash no more. So Gibby is the ultimate legend for an absolutely ridiculous reason. Muzzle flash can be eliminated when you place down the dome shield. Now in super dark areas it seems that you can be outside of the dome shield and the muzzle flash is reduced but for the best results you can go inside the dome shield to shoot instead and it will be much much better. Now the interesting thing is even in what seems to be well lit rooms by putting down your dome shield you're reducing even more muzzle flash that you may not even have noticed is there. Putting down the dome shield actually feels like back when you could do the command to remove muzzle flash completely it is that strong. So yeah an interesting tip for you very short but you can see in these clips just how good it is. I don't know why it was a bit laggy in some of these clips but either way you can see the muzzle flash in action. So a nice little tip another strange buff for Gibby that just makes him even stronger without people ever really even noticing so great one besides that I want to quickly touch on my Apex Legends nade jump challenge if you're curious about that well it turns out it was an absolute flop I guess it turns to be much much harder to get a kill after a nade jump than I first thought so you win this time community it's not too great but that means I kind of have to give it by default to the best attempt yet which is Moki Sniper I sadly didn't manage to get that kill, but it's still a great example of what nade jumps can be used for. I will include some more practice nade jumps and promise that the quest to get a nade jump kill is not over yet. So I'll contact you and you can have your apex coins. I do want to keep trying this, I still think there's potential. It's not a good move, okay? It's not a tactical move, but it's a fun move. And sometimes all I wanna do is have fun, right? Anyway, that's it from me, a very short video, but I just wanted to share this and there's no real way to just share it without saying, hey, look at this. So thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. If you want to see more from me, you can check out my stream, my gameplay channel, or all my socials in the description below or the pinned comment. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.